It's the weekend. It's Mailbag. I'm joined this week by Dave and Pete, possibly Keith, if he can get off work. He works too hard, that lad. Um, lads, we'll get straight into it because uh, we've got loads of questions. We had a big run on questions this afternoon. First off, though, we're going to start with the hot topic. Pete, one for me and you, this. Uh, been saying it for a while now. Michael Keane, striker. Absolutely, 100%. Not, not even in any doubt. Um, I think we've seen even with the, the the footage from from the last week of um or certainly from this week of them in the training camp away and he's and he looks like you know prime R nine so I would uh, uh yeah I'd I'd, I'd lash him R nine Ballon d'Or Ballon d'Or is waiting for Michael Dean when he when he goes up front I'm telling you yeah well I he's... I said we've been saying this for a while so we'll look back I like the first sort of mention we both mentioned it. Um, around the twenty fifth of January. Hmm. Um, is that this so, season? I, th- I uh, think we twenty fifth twenty fifth of January twenty twenty three. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like yeah. a full. Surely must have been earlier than that though. Full year that, was it the goal against the um, Spurs where he scored that whopper against Spurs? That's when people start saying, start giving him a chance. Was it Spurs when he scored the peach? Yeah, the when goal? was that? Um, that must have been o two, was it? Because I, I first I first mentioned it. Uh, Someone, someone mentioned this finish against Palace, and it was like he doesn't get enough credit for that. I think I called him a big galoot, um, and then thought, yeah, do you know what? Stick him up front, and then you said you know, exactly, you know exactly the same time. But you said yeah. something similar. Um, There's genuinely mad. something. Shit. Do you know what? I know, like you mentioned it within a sentence. Within a few seconds, people start laughing and taking the piss. But I'm, this is serious idea. It's serious when you look at we can't score a fucking goal. Do you know what I mean? You just, you know, any means necessary, isn't it? I'd, I'd throw him on, you know, you, you've got Betho who can't even run properly, let alone kick a ball properly and tackles himself and all that. You've got Calvert Lewin who just, I don't know what league he's going to end up playing in if he continues with this really, as much as I feel sorry for the lad. What else do you do? I mean, do you know what? It's it's an old school thing as well, Les, because I remember when we did so with um, Steve Watson. When 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 our players were, were in fifth up front, when we had yeah. the, it was Kevin Campbell days, and um, I think that's what we had actually. He just the Kevin, we, against Bolton, didn't he? He did. Leeds. Uh, no, it was against Leeds. Oh, Leeds sorry, yeah, yeah. Leeds. He won, he won, he won he an overhead kick against Bolton, didn't he? He did. Yeah, yeah. it's not sorry, an overhead, yeah. but it was still an overhead. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It was a great overhead, it like, you know, it was proper yeah. under race at that, you know. No, it, it was, was. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't properly too. It was more bicycle air. kick, wasn't it? Yeah, it's really? like. Both both legs didn't go in the air. I think that's classed as not having a, an overhead kick because <laughs> he nearly hit, hit, hit himself in the face when he was trying to do it. But I remember when we first got, um, I think it was when we first got Beatty, but he wasn't fully fit when we first got him. And we were playing away at um, at Southampton and Steve Watson scored the winner playing up front for us. And you think like anything like that would never, ever, ever happen at any club these days. It's almost like it's, is against the law or something? Well, that probably. Do you know what I mean? Most, yeah, probably the most famous example is Paul Warrest, isn't it? Chef Wed. He, yeah. he was a centre back, and ended up getting England call up, Ended up getting an England call up up front. That was when that was when Wednesday. This was in like classic Umbro kit period. It's about ninety two, three, four around then. Wednesday had this away shirt. It was the same template as our salmon pink, you know, with the collar. Yeah, yellow with like navy blue pinstripes. With I remember it, yeah. Stripe, white pinstripe through it. Such a nice kid, that. Wasn't Warhurst, uh, didn't, didn't he end up with like like a ponytail and put like um, a banner around his head and all that? Is that him? He went to Blackburn, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He started, and he just looked like Darren Peacock in the end or something, didn't he? <laughs> Without the you remember Darren Peacock? <laughs> <laughs> Alan, yeah, Shearer. Right. Alan Shearer well, started off as a goalkeeper. In, in Chris the Sutton started off as a centre-half. Yeah, and that's the age old thing that Carragher, Carragher yeah. started off as a striker as well, didn't he? Um, it's, a bit shit if you, it's a bit shit if you go the other way, though, isn't it? If you're <laughs> yeah. a striker that ends up a centre half, it's like you were a yeah. shit striker either you, way. You, yeah. you know, you know, you're on the last few threads of your professional career. If that's yeah. what's happening, don't you? Carragher was probably just dead big as a kid, wasn't he? So they stuck yeah. him up front. And, I remember yeah. everyone said that. I I remember this is randomness. I, I remember going to um, an under twenty one game at Goodison, and we ended up winning it four three. And Carragher was up front. And I think we went to the taxi club after it. And I was too far too young, my dad was saying about it. And he, he knew his uh, he knew his half fella. Because obviously he used to, he's from Bootle. Um he, uh, he used to go to the booze in Bootle on, on Mars Lane called um 
the the Salisbury, I think it's called. Um, and yeah, his dad owned it, I think. And my dad went in, to, like he knew him now and again, and he'd speak to him, and he used to say, um, his dad used to say, oh, you watch my lad. He's going to be one of the best strikers you've ever seen in the game. <laughs> <laughs> then he ends up a fucking, <laughs> the solly it's called. He ended up as a fucking central defender that Liverpool are called a legend now, do you know what I mean? So you're right, though. You think he's definitely going to work in Tesco's because that's the last straw if he's a shit defender. <laughs> <laughs> no offence to anyone who works in Tesco's life, but you know. But would settle then, Michael Keane, striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think and, any, you know, and... there's not you you you're in a situation, Les. You can't ignore it if we look we you know, touch wood life, things are starting. Well, I'm not even gonna say it, but if, if you get to a stage where you're actually a desperate to score a goal. What what is wrong with actually doing that? He, I don't I don't think we should particularly have Sean Dice saying I'm too proud for that because he's probably a pit of the sort of manager who'd have to do that, who would do that, who's been his mate for years as well. Do you know what I mean? Look what he did at Burnley as well. That nice finish he scored at Burnley. Yeah, the lad can kick a ball. It's all you need at times, isn't it? And for anyone who hasn't seen the uh, the clips from the Portuguese training camp, he scores an absolutely wonderful. I can only say a pirouette back heel. Yeah, just in front of goal, and then smashes an absolute thunderous volley. It was yeah. the the volley. I, I, you know, <clears throat> I'm not one to sort of like go overboard, but it was Zidane esque that volley. Really, it was oh, something. Ballon de Keen incoming. Yeah, honestly. So well, did we not used to think about um, about stones like that? Obviously, not not sort of like a, a ball boy of a uh, centre half, but John Stones could pretty much do anything, couldn't he? I, I always was, thought defensive midfield for him. He would have been lovely yeah. there. And he started that a little bit at City, haven't he? If you watch them now, he goes into that sixth position now and again. Yeah. But and you look what Brantwaite scored at um at Brighton. Wouldn't mind throwing in up front if we need them as well. But yeah. he might have played his he might have played his last game for us now, Les, because he got picked up in England. <laughs> After that call up. Yeah. Yeah. Just, to, I just actually can't can't mention centre half strikers on an Everton podcast without mentioning Mick Lyons as well. So, Far before my time, that means like in classic game show style, bit before our time. But um, yeah, when Everton was short up front, or if they were uh, if they were getting beaten, it was like last five minutes. Mick Lyons would just go up front, just chuck the <laughs> chuck the big fella in the mixer. I'm all for that. <laughs> There's a lot to be said about that, mate. You get that in the amateur game these days as well. I bet. Telling you, yeah, defo. Um, Stephen, question now after Bournemouth in in the week, which was very funny. Um, what's your favourite ever? I'm not. I shouldn't say that because we got them next, haven't we? Uh, what's your favourite Everton comeback? Not a huge turnaround, but beating West Ham away in 2008, being one nil down in the 83rd minute and winning three one was amazing. Yeah, was that he'll, he'll, Nick, it was Nick when, Barnby. Oh no, 2008. No. I was thinking. I was thinking 98 then. Sorry. Oh, oh, wait, he's talking about when um, Andy Johnson scored. Yeah, Sorry, and he yeah. lobs the keeper. I was, was going to uh, score a belter at the end. That's yeah. right, yeah, yeah, because it was all we got back to two one, and and it we played them twice in the space of four days. One of them, and we won both of them. One was of in them, the cup. One when Yakubu scored. Yeah, Yakubu yeah. scored. It, it, whichever did either way rounds, but Johnson scored a couple in one. Yakubu scored in the other. So obviously the team was to stay down there in London for the couple of days. It went like from a I don't know like a Wednesday to a Saturday type of thing, um, and we beat them twice in a row and never. Never really felt like we could do well down at West Ham, even though we were traditionally done all right at West Ham, didn't we, yeah. back in the day? Um, but yeah, that, that week was brilliant. It was like, can't we play West Ham all the time? Because we, we just ran through them. But in terms of comebacks, um, I'm I'm trying to think of... Do we not... We were 3-0 down against United and finished... Did we win it 4-3? Oh, no, no, I think they, they won it... They it won was it Wayne three. Rooney's. It was Rooney's last game. Because it was the last day of the season for us, we needed to win. Google this and check I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might be right here. We, we got. Yeah, I was talking about this game with Jack on. We went I one nil up, up, which I always want to promote. Pete, Kevin Campbell piece, scored the first. Kevin Campbell scored the header. I remember we were having season ticket on on the, the Bullens when I was a kid. Kevin Campbell scores a header after about five or six minutes, and no, it was when Rooney was playing for them, I think. In my head, um, you might have to ignore that. Thanks, we never had a we never had a massive comeback at all. 
No, Kevin Kilban scored. He did, he yeah, did in that 2003 game. 04 it was. Kevin Kilban scored the equaliser. And then Van Nistelrooy scored right at the end. 4-3. Yeah, Four that's three. right. Yeah. That, was, that, was, that was the first one that came to my mind because I thought that, that was a boss comeback. But so that was 3-0. That's 3-0 three three down. 3-3. Nil down. Three, three. Then they got the last second. Yeah. Was it Kevin Campbell you know, scored early on? I can't. I don't know. No, because they were 3-0 up, weren't they? No. Oh, shit, yeah. That must have been... The... Um, no, I know what I'm telling you about there. I'm telling you about a season either before or after we were winning 2-1 and it was to get in Europe and it was the last day of the season. Really Beckham, Beckham. Beckham. Beckham, was it? Yeah. That Beckham free kick where he bends it into the um, Gladys. Mm. Yeah. And he, 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 brought, and he, it, he brought it brought He brought it about 10 yards in from where the foul was, didn't he? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where was VAR then, you bastards? I, think, uh, I was thinking about that game, though, the, the three, the, the 4-3 against United and it's like, when does that ever happen, whereby a team has completely crumbled, been pegged back to three three, and then they still win it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? If that if that's Everton, they get and beat four three there. If they get there pegged was... back to three three, talking about three three against United though, there was that it was three three, wasn't it? Where our Setter and Kale scored like late yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. were three three one down going into injury time. We scored twice, and then. We had the chance to win it, and the referee blew up for full time. The amount, of, like, Pete, the amount of times that that's been mentioned in di- loads of different shows in the last month or so. Yeah, it's been is, loads, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, because of that ends. Because we, we were talking, I think, a couple of weeks ago about Steve Round. He's probably one of the worst little bell ends you've ever met. Uh, Running on, on the pitch after ran on the pitch after Moyes copying everything he did, like fuming at the referee. I'm like, what are you doing? Steve, Steve Rahn was a proper day. I remember that interview, uh, Steve Rahn, you know, in the um, it shows you how little we cared about the League Cup games because Moyes had always put him forward. It's like <laughs> Liverpool oh, yeah. do with their assistant, that dickhead they've got, Linders, is it? They always seem yeah. to put them forward and you think that's because you don't give a shit about that competition. <laughs> I was going to say, my, my, my favourite my favorite comeback, I think, was um, Wofford. When, when when we were away to Wofford and we were two 0 down, Yanni Mina gets. I think yeah, did Yanni Mina get two before half time to make yeah. it two all, and did then Walcott? I think Wal- Walcott scored the winner. Yeah, that was that was probably my favourite comeback because at two 0 we just looked absolutely gone. Like I just remember yeah. just feeling like oh my, like you know you you've had a big journey down there as well. Not too bad to get to Wofford to be fair. Like it's it's kind of like one of the. You know, in terms of down south, it's your, it's your closest one, isn't it? But yeah, it was all yeah. right. But I remember being two 0 down, just thinking, I'm like, oh, it was just horrible. But then, but then to win it the way we won it was just amazing. I, I absolutely it was one of my favourites away days. That um, you know I, about that goal there that you mentioned there, Pete. I remember, and I've seen this video of it. It must be somewhere because it was put onto Twitter. It's only about four, three or four years ago, wasn't it? Mm. And um, Richarlison picked it up. We, we're just counters that because they had a corner. When it was when it was two all, and the Charles yeah. gets it, and you've got some all the Waffle fans are booing him, and you've just got just got some woman because he he sprints through, and then he tries to square it to Moyes Keane, who yeah. completely misses it, and then it goes to uh, Walcott who slots it in, and you just hear this woman going, "Please not fucking him, fucking no, I'm not <laughs> fucking him near the ball. What the fuck are we doing?" Just you say, hit him, cut. just hit him, yeah. break yeah, his legs. That was it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It. Like, fuck <laughs> off. And then he, he ended up scoring the goal. I think people celebrated with Charleston more than he did with Walcott scoring the goal. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember as well with that goal? The amount of people who tried to say Moyes Keane passed it to Walcott. <laughs> oh yeah, time. just completely oh, misses the shot. Yeah. See, we, it worked out that we paid whatever we did for him, and he was like boss of passing the ball, but couldn't shoot. We ended up making a profit on him. We actually made Sorry. a profit on him in the end. Yeah. Weirdly, strange. Is he on the move like, again now? No, he's still at Juve. He's still officially at Juve. I was talking to he, someone about this. He's getting uh, touted, though, isn't he, to go somewhere else? Isn't he getting, like, on to trying to sell him? Uh, yeah. Do you always been trying? Because if you look on it, it's so ironic again. I was looking at him because someone on Twitter was talking to him about it, saying, how bad are we, you know, fucking up young players and their potential? And he started saying to me about um, Luchman and him. And I said it just like because I, I was good at it didn't work out for Moise Keane because I was really really excited when we got him, and you could see when he came on, he he's got, he had all the tricks, but it just it just couldn't happen for him for whatever reason. 
I, I still... It's because he's shy. I'm still, no, yeah. I'm still reluctant to say that, Les. That's the point. I'm still reluctant to say he's shy. He's about 30 now, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he'd come on the pitch, and then I remember fuming that we didn't give him a start. It was it was it under silver, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was and fuming that we well, did... I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. And mm. I was fuming that we didn't ever give him a regular start. Like, like why haven't you started him? The, the game for me, where I realised he's either shit, not arsed, or both, was Norwich when we got beat. I think Ancelotti was manager. Yeah, because it was COVID. Um, we got beat at Norwich away. And he came on with about 20, 25 minutes to go. And you're thinking, right, you, you've got to salvage the game here. You're getting lashed on up front. Now you've not been getting much game time. It's fucking Norwich. Just come on and do it. <laughs> and he was terrible. He was yeah. awful. He just he just laboured around the pitch. Didn't look bothered. It was just crap. And it was then that was the moment where I thought, nah, he's just he's just last. I just um, I got I just got really excited about him because you know when you get the, the standard YouTube video of him being amazing when he was a kid. And he did that dance. His dance when he scored goals was amazing. He did that thing Don't with his it. shoulders, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't like, see much of it, did we? <laughs> I think we only got to see it once, and that was when he missed hit the ball to, to Theo Walcott. <laughs> <laughs> he scored in that game against Newcastle, the one where we were talking about hot, about comebacks. Oh, like, God, yeah. The other yeah. end of the spectrum, you've got that two-all against Newcastle where we were tuning up in the 93rd minute, but I'm sure he scored in that game. Yeah, he did. My, yeah, it was, that was his yeah, only so wasn't that, goal. Was it, did Bernard set him up with like a lovely little chip ball over? Mm. And then he kind of like, Sort of scuffed it in, didn't he? Yeah, it was a nice finish. Like it wasn't very clean, but it was a nice finish. Like, but nice yeah. finish because he kicked the ball towards the goal. <laughs> yeah, because it went in. Do you know what? Bernard, one, what whatever ball... happened to him? Where the fuck's he now? Oh, I don't know. He went up. Where did he go? He went. He went where did he go? Don't have seen him on Stanley Road. Like, I don't know. I can't remember where he went now. He went. Back I'm sure to... he's playing. I'm sure he's playing in the Champions League this season. You know, I'm sure he's Is playing he? or in Europe at least. Yeah. Who was it we got him from? Galatasaray or something, was it? That was a Russian club, wasn't it? Russian club, yeah. Donetsk or something? Was what? it? I thought it was... Are Ukrainian, um, sorry. Circus club. Um... Find that out now. <laughs> All right, sir. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> um... so, you know what? You're the only one of us who seems to sit next to a computer doing this. Just just one of the one of the comeback game for me was the uh, the three all against Liverpool with Martinez. Mm. We were 2-0 down, weren't we? But even that was sort of snatched from us right at the end. We were 2-0 yeah. down and then oh, the Lukaku scored. Oh, the storage scored. goal. That storage yeah, goal. yeah, the storage goal had us off. It was when uh, Lukaku destroyed them on corners. He scored two yeah. peaches of edges on And um, we, where we 2-0 down, you just said that Osman scored. Yeah. Really good goal, half volley. Um, when that Mignolet was in goal for them, No, Morales it? scored in that one. Oh, did he? Morales and Lukaku got two. Is was that, that the one where he, where he volleyed um, Suarez? I was just going to say that, yeah. Or yeah, was it? Oh, was right. that the one where Suarez volleyed, volleyed no, him? This is no, the one. Went, oh, no, that was it. Yeah, because Morales was absolutely tearing the ass out of them, wasn't he? In the first mm-hmm. half, yeah. and Suarez he, took him out. Suarez stood on his foot, didn't he? That's the same beats. game he died in front of Moyes. And he, um, yeah, I think it was that one. And he also did this stand on the Achilles. And then, and then so, Morales got him back, didn't he? The following yeah. season, like That's proper, right, yeah, 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 twice <laughs> you know, as well. You know, what? I might get, um, I might get ripped for this, right? But you know when he dived in front of Moyes, yeah, I'd have fucking loved that if it was us. I'd have loved if, if I supported any other team. And oh that yeah, happened, I would be delighted with that. So the fair, fair play that he did that, you know, because he. Had, and I remember when Moyes gets up, puts his hands in his pockets, and like as if he's walking straight up to him, and then he just shits himself when he gets to the touchline. He was a cheeky bastard though, because he was a diving little get. Oh, he was, but he was yeah. superb. You can't deny that. No, he was shy. Jalovic was better. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bernard, Shakhtar. Shakhtar. Yeah. Um, all right, that'll do for comeback. Gone off then. on one there. Gone off on one in that question there, didn't we? Fucking hell. <laughs> Little bit, Nearly yeah. finished. Question um, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we go. We're on question three now. Um, John asked, would Dennis Strackwell actually get a game currently? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny when we all started thinking Pete's, he wasn't actually... Pete's not convinced. Mate, it was I when love... we all started... No, we started thinking because I think it was, one, it was when... I say back in the day, it's only like what is it now? About ten years ago, wasn't it? When we had that Lacoste um, yeah. top, I just remember that from him. And we had um, 
Donovan had come back as well. I think for the for the um, last few games of the season, we got him back on loan in the in the January, and um, yes, because we got Trente with him at the same time. We got them both on the same day, didn't we? And um, oh, I love Trente. He's, he's one that I think about the got away, the one that got away. Do you know what? But, um, right, just just quickly on Trente. Do you know the word shagger has been passed around quite freely lately? Yeah, Tarkovsky, Super Silk. Strakulesi, no, not Strakulesi. <laughs> now there was a shagger allegedly. Yeah, yeah going, it into was. The hot, going into the finish farm to the hot tubs. Yeah, that was true though. What that was guy. definitely true. It was absolutely true because I remember the fella on Finch Farm, the uh, the steward at the, at the front door who left the cars and he just needs to give you uh, your ID and he said, "I swear to you, mate, that was true." He, <laughs> he come in in a Range Rover with two girls. Jesus. He said he'd say the fucking he said the cutest he's on. And that's so that, well, that's why he never got a game. No one there at this time of night, it'll be fine. He, yeah, he didn't he, <laughs> and he didn't get a game after that. Oh, he got imagine a game. Moises, just not a game of football. Moises' face, have you seen the uh, CCTV of that? God, wasn't that like what is that why that's why he got dropped for the semi final? Yeah. No, the semi yeah. the, no, the, the semi final was, was some no no the semi final. Was apparently he turned he turned up late and he phoned ahead to say that he was running the late. So the coach waited for him, and when the coach was pulling out, his car was parked up the road. He said he, he said his car had broken down, so he was getting a taxi in, and he's he's parked his car off the road. But as the car, but it was like a big like bright Porsche or something. So as the as the coach has turned turned the corner, he's gone past the road and his and his Porsche has been parked there. So obviously he lied about his car breaking down. Jesus. So Moyes was like, "Well, you get off and get." That, they, that was a pa- yeah, and then we lost against Liverpool, didn't we? He could have won us didn't that game. Gay, gay played yeah. left wing. It was it was it played left wing. Yeah, um, Maggie Gay. Mag Maggie Gay, yeah. Secret weapon. Who's, who got us? He got us. Well, I say he got us. And remember when we that that game against Sunderland in the quarter final, yeah. the, the replay. That's yeah. one of the best ways you could ever see that. Love that. The and he ripped the ball amazing. in for Richard, uh, Richardson. Um, Yelovich first touch goal. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was peak. That was that was peak Yelovich. That yeah. that was the one where I just remember. I remember that chant that we had for Yelovich, which was like na 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 na. And I remember up until that game, I wasn't too keen on it. But coming out of that ground, everyone was just because because the away yeah. end was packed. It was like it was like seven thousand of us, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Sunderland fans still talk about that, you know. They still refer they they still refer to the Everton fans from that night as being the best they've ever had. Yeah, because there was that that fellow who played for them. His, his uh, name's Vaughan. He used to play yeah, for Blackpool. That own goal was brilliant. Exactly, I was yeah. going to say because uh, he keeps saying with Charleston. Um, he he rounds the keeper, didn't he? Yelovich, and all he had to do, and he completely scuffs it. <laughs> and it's almost he, he must have had a bet on himself that fellow, you know, because <laughs> he could have he could have stopped that so easily, and he ends up just falling over it, and it goes in. <laughs> but it's right in front of our fans, isn't it, on their end of the pitch? And, that, yeah. and then it got us to the semi, and then I thought, one of them things wasn't it? You see a day like that, you see a night like that, and you're thinking, we've got these bastards for once. Yeah. And then the milkman does what he does. Just, just, quick, just quickly on um, <laughs> we we had chance that you didn't really like at first. Were you at uh, Pete? Were you at Stoke when Tosin scored twice? Was that the one in the snow? Yeah, snow and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were so there. The yeah. start yeah. of the game, I think. Well, there was, there was a Chen Tosin song to the wimpy tune. Chen's having a party. Do you remember it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. First time that hey, was sung, Cheng, I was we're like, having a party. Yeah. We First time that was sung, we were like, this is crap. And then about 20 minutes later, I was fully on board. Like, Go on, on over to my place. <laughs> that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, both making chance for shit players, aren't we? Oh, that was a great away, that, though. Oh, uh, so the, anyway, the, would Strackle Ace get a game? Yeah, he would. He's better than Beto. Comfortable. I'm. I'm saying he's better. I'm saying Lucina Traore is better than Beto as well. Pete, you have reservations. I'm better than Beto. <laughs> Pete, you have reservations. I mean, <sighs> <laughs> I mean, we've I've had, never I, seen you ask a serious question him. like that. You know, Les. God love him. God love him, Dennis Strakalosi. <laughs> well, the guy. I mean, he looked like he'd won a competition, didn't he? Like he did. You know. I was. I mean, he, he tried. Do you know what though? You can't fault his efforts. Is what I'd say. Um, that, that, but, yeah. yeah, it goes but, a long but, way. I mean, yeah. He like... <laughs> even the I'm even the goal against Chelsea was miss it, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, God it was. 
I mean, he sent a lovely letter as well. When he left, he sent a lovely letter to Everton saying it was a beautiful dream. You can look that up, Les. Oh, um, really? Yeah, and he, and he like sent a, a, a really lovely letter. And it was like, yeah, yeah. What what type of LSD and you dream that you have? Think you ever played in the Premier League? Like, <laughs> Maybe. Do, you remember, do you remember Samuel Leto's letter that he sent to Everton? That apparently and then he, he sent, sent to every, every other club that he'd been at. Yeah, <laughs> did he? Yeah. yeah, he said something about I'll always be a toffee or something, and then and it was like, uh, oh yeah, and then and then he he went somewhere. Did he go to Fiorentina or somewhere? Where did he go after like that? Yeah, no, and then he, left was them. he left them after about two months. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Yeah. I, I was thinking he went to that Russian one who just paid money for the laugh. Yeah, he went to Matt, but... FC Extractor and he said he'd always been an Extractor fan. I'll get the coat. <laughs> Sorry. The way ah. you just said that, then, no less. That, that was amazing when you just said, Pete, you have reservations. <laughs> <laughs> I am go- I'm going like heavyweight reporter and I'll interview you. Here we go. Yeah. Um, right, Gary, in response to Liverpool winning trophies and it meaning more to them than anyone else because it just does. Um, what means more to you than anyone else, Dave? When, when oh, I, I, think, I well, I I just think everything means means more to me than than everything else. You know, if, if that's the, if that's the road we're going down, then everything. yeah, everything. So like when the postman gives me a letter, that means more to me than my neighbour. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like if my or else <laughs> on the front like that with your letters. Yeah, Mate, you, exactly. You, you, yeah. You, Pete, you must have letters go missing, mate. If you enjoy when a fucking postman throws a load of letters through your door, mate. It just means more to me, Dave. Like, I mean, you can't argue with yeah. it. It just means more to me. If I get a letter and you get a letter, it means more to me. I mean, it, it might means, just. Well, <laughs> I can. Um, I'm. I'm. Well, touch wood. I can. I can drive again in six months' time. Um, and like, I like to drive past people. I'm not talking about like you know, smashing them like put my foot down. Like I, you know, if I, if I look next to me and I see someone, I like to look them in the eye and see if they look back. And if they do, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead of you, mate. And I'm not, I'm not again. I'm not talking about stopping at the lights and like ragging it to get him like ahead of them. Like sometimes, do you rev you, your engine like, at people, Dave? Is that what you're telling me? No, no, no. I don't do anything like that. I'm not that much of a bell end, but I, I'll, I'll stop at the lights, right? And you know when you're just waiting and you just like you've got nothing to do. And I just look over and I'm like, he's a twat. I'm telling you right now, him over there, I want him to look back at me. And when they do, I'm like, it, it, it's game on this. You know, I'm, I, and then sometimes I'll think I'm going to stay alongside him for as long as I possibly can in a yeah. double laner. Just just like, I, I don't know, something enters my mind where I just want to like, I, I just want to look at this person and, and just, just think... <laughs> What does he do over there in him? What does he do for a living? I bet you he's a prick. I bet you whatever he live uh, whatever he lives as well. That he's got a really nice house and a better place than I have. And I reckon he's got like a really nice family, but he's a bell end <laughs> to them. And like I'd happily, I'd happily like live with his wife. Um <laughs> and, and him and him, and him to leave. That that's, think, that's where's this going? <laughs> Twenty minutes in, and this is taking a really, really dark turn. <laughs> and I just sit there like thinking deep, deep stuff. And it just could be like you let we didn't know each other, mate. Me and you just stopped there at the light. <laughs> and I'll look at, I'll look over at him and I'll think he looks a dickhead. I'll think, no, he hasn't had a shave today. Probably can't be asked. It takes his wife. Takes his wife for granted. Um, probably so, not family as well. Looks looks quite fit to go to uh, Taekwondo. Dave, Dave casting his face <laughs> on me. It's terrible. Which bit, which bit means more to you, Dave? Is is it getting ahead of the lights? It's me. It's it, it's me looking at him, thinking I've got the better of him. He's gonna look. He's gonna look over at me and think, "Oh fucking hell, he's wrecked my day in, and I'm gonna have a bad night." Bad night in the house. My tea's going to be shit, and the chippy's going to be closed when I try and ring it. And I've had a crap tea made by my wife. Stand on an upturn plug. The lot. I don't yeah. know where that's just come from. In the last five minutes, I think I just blanked out to say all these things. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, whatever it I is, it means had, more. I haven't had any drugs or drink, by the way. <laughs> these drugs mean more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Friday night There's days on party mode. Um, Men mean more. Colin the cat, I think, for me. There we go. Colin the cat? Yeah. 
Colin Robinson, the cat. Honestly, is that your name? Your cat, Colin. Colin Robinson, yeah. Oh, that's Buster. So he's named after um. What the, we do in the uh, shadows? Yeah, the energy vampire. Yeah. Oh, how old is he? He's coming up to two this summer. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's a new cat. Yeah. He's a new cat. So, so he's yeah, he's he's like banging mouse catching mode now. Is he house cat? Does he let him out in the garden and all that? Oh, he goes out. Yeah, he's got a calf flap and stuff. Does he? Yeah. But he just brings mice in all the time, and it's Mates. like honestly midnight. It's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Sometimes. Got a firm yes. and all that, has he? What's that? He's got a firm as well. Have you? Do you put him in the car and get him to look at other people sitting next to him? I don't know, but I will do in future. I think. Especially <laughs> if I'm uh, knocking about boot away. <laughs> look ahead. Yeah. I should have just said George Jerry for that answer, you know, by the way. <laughs> George Jerry, I'm sure once I've been there, it'll mean more to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. On the subject, Dave, funnily enough, of drugs, um, Sam has asked, best drug you've been prescribed or bought for medical purposes? That had unintended consequences. Oh, mate, I had. Um, have you ever heard of gabapentin? No, so, gabapentin sounds good though. No, I, I wish. I hope uh, Mark Moses, he'll know about this if he's watching. Gabapentin, right? So, naproxen. You've had naproxen. Yes, yeah, so that's mine. Naproxen. The dreams you get off that. Are oh, mate, but it's the most effective thing if you've got any pain. You know, like you like you're playing footy and you've hurt your leg and all that. I'm not joking. You're having a proxy. You wake up the next day and think things can skip everywhere. Do you know what I mean? But gabapentin. I was coming back from Portugal, um, the year before last day. Went to Portugal for golf, and I came home and and I had COVID. Got home and had COVID, um. So I was just in the bed for like, I think it was just just under a week. It was before I started feeling a bit better. So Haley says, "Oh, uh, her, her auntie's got got these <laughs> drugs. She got these. Do you know what? Just quickly, there. These are the best drugs, aren't they? Where they just get passed from a friend or a family <laughs> member. They could be yeah. three years out of date. Don't know. But yeah. Go ahead, try them. The sound. No, no doctor, <laughs> no direct. You know, from your, your pharmacy, literally illegal. So she said, uh, I said, oh, I'm feeling shite here. I've got nothing. Nothing's make me feel any better. Like can't taste.'" You know, kind of like drinking bags and bags of water, just all sorts of stuff. It just wasn't making me, me, me feel any better. Could barely hear any, you know, weird stuff was happening. So she went, oh, you went to, my auntie had it recently. She said, and she swears by this drug called Gap, uh, Gabapentin. So she went and brought like a packet of it to me. And she went, just just have one of them and see what happens. I am not joking, mate. I'll just have a half for now. I was in the fucking moon. <laughs> I ended up going to fucking Neptune. My head in this, I've never had anything like that before, mate. Honestly, I was lying in bed. <laughs> going to <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I was going around. I was going around the nine planets. Honestly, I was lying there and like I get up in the morning and Haley come in and said, oh, "How are you feeling?" And I just look it in the eyes and I just be like. What? Bet your shit to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just, I've never had anything that made me feel like that. And I don't mean in any good way, though, either, because like when I need the toilet or anything like that, to get up and walk, felt like I was going up Everest or something, you know, it was really mm -hmm. weird. It was okay. fucked up. Like, you know, yeah. I'd, I wouldn't give it to my worst enemy. You'll probably saw it in the car next to me, you know. <laughs> Gabapentin, no, is uh, it's dangerous stuff like this. This thing shouldn't be legal, or maybe maybe it was just it, it just like you know, each person has like a, a reaction to something. Yeah, this, this stuff though, mate, I wouldn't, you know, if I, I, I wouldn't give it to Suarez. I mean, I, I wouldn't give it to seriously like people I hate, like I despise, like proper despise. I would not give them that at all. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't go into Walton Jail and give it to somebody in there. I just know it's it's fucking dangerous, dangerous know, stuff. Not gonna lie, I quite like the sound of it. If I'm honest, um, <laughs> it's gonna take gonna take you when we get relegated. <laughs> go to the new stadium. Go to the new stadium. Think you're in Mars. Get the toffee ladies to start throwing them out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Pete, what's yours? Yeah, I mean, I've. I've when I when I was in hospital, I snapped my Achilles, and that was horrible. It came off my calf muscle, and um, they kept me in overnight. I remember they had me nil by mouth, so because I was meant to be having an operation in the morning, ended up getting like postponed. Um, 
And I remember sort of in the afternoon, like I had this throbbing pain and like whatever they were giving me, the, the, the painkillers they were giving me just weren't touching the side by this point. So they gave me like liquid morphine and it was like, and I've never, you know, it, it absolutely sent, sent me out. But it tasted like Sambuca as well. So it tasted like, <laughs> like aniseedy. I remember having Anacid's it. Aniseed lovely. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. It was actually nice. That's that's the worrying the worrying thing. Um, chasing the dragon ever since. No, but like I, I was just like, sorry to be, um, but yeah, I just remember there was like a fella in the bed opposite me. I remember chatting to him, like saying about how it didn't work and how it wasn't doing anything for me and all this sort of thing. And it then I realized the I was chatting absolute bubbles to to like this fella, and I just remember him proper laughing at me. And I had this, and this is another weird thing. So I had this big jug of water, and because it was meant to be nil by mouth after a certain point, they give me this big jar of water so that I could, like, you know, get some water down before I went to sleep. And I remember the nurse came over to, like, take the water off me because obviously I was meant to be nil by mouth after this point. And I was I was just off my head. And I, I remember actually saying it out loud. I was going, <laughs> she'll never find this. And I was like, <laughs> and I, I was leaning over the bed. And she was literally having to like drag me up into the head, going, "You'll never find my water." <laughs> <laughs> just in this like really weird, like over the top. <laughs> I remember, and like I woke up about four hours. Yeah, woke up like four hours later. Um, you know, middle of middle of the night, and the first thing I thought of was, "Oh, could do some water here." And it was obviously, yeah, <laughs> didn't hide it well enough. But yeah, just um, I just it was weird. It was a proper. It didn't have semi yeah. head west. Like I was, I was out cold for, for ages. It's out cold. Yeah. It was great. You, you thought you were. Do you know? I just, just yeah. going back. I, I don't want to get like too too graphic with this, right? But I remember, like you know, going to the toilet, and it was like, yeah, it was like newspapers come out of me. It was, it was, it was mad. It was mad. Like you could read them and everything. I thought you could read them. Just, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I've never. I've, you know, if you have to. See if you get subscribed by them because this is like this is like top like A level, right? Sure this is like have mushrooms or something. This is like <laughs> yeah. Oscar winning, Oscar winning, <laughs> Oscar winning was, proper. <laughs> yeah, Oscar winning tablets, mate. They're fucking, and I don't know if anybody's had them. I tell you what, right? Maybe you want to get back to us after they watch or listen to this, but you know, anonymously, and say I've had that gabapentin and it's it's well, like they've enjoyed it or like it's done something good for them. Because to me. It took me to hell. Okay. I think the the reason Sam has asked this, and I am also taking notes, is that we just want to know and find out and then go and get some, basically. So yeah. uh, gabapentin yeah. and liquid morphine, Sam. Um, see you next weekend. Hope you're better, by the way. Um, Mike, <laughs> are you are you a Cadbury's person or a Nestle nonce? Nestle we'll nonce. Do a, we'll do a bit of a quick fire round here. We've got some from Mike, Dan, and Maggie, so we'll uh, Galaxy. run through these. Galaxy. Galaxy all day, every day. Galaxy's Cabri Nestle, got... oh no, Galaxy's Mars, isn't it? Mars, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But 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 because because Cadbury got ruined when the Americans took over and made it taste and, and they changed the recipe, took all the milk out of it, load of shite. Cadbury, shite. yeah, that's, I, that's I agree a with you. Claim that, Jesus, Cadbury's crap. Cadbury's woeful. Oh God, no! Since oh. the Americans took over, less they took the oh. milk out of it, they, oh. they made it taste like sick. <laughs> it's like cream eggs. It's like you know where we are this time of year. Aren't we? Yeah. This time of year. Cadbury's cream egg used to be magic. It used yeah. to be like you'd have a few tea. It was that nice. But but these days the the, the cream in it, the cream in it, someone's put glue inside or something like that because it's, it's vile. That's just it's horrible these days. Do, do you know what? <laughs> That's just in bootle. What are you saying? Says that's, me yeah. from says me from Birkenhead. Yeah, nice that's, one. Yeah, no, I was going to say, mate, your your cream eggs drugs inside them where you live. Oh, by the way, <laughs> do you know, we like them. On the on the subject of like Easter eggs and stuff like that, why does the Easter egg? Why does the chocolate in Easter egg taste better than like a chocolate yeah. bar? Yeah, that's right. Why I is that? I, well, I start going on a mad one in ours because like Haley will go go and get them all. You know, about two weeks before. Because the, the silly price now as well, aren't they? They used to be these, but like every when you go for your for your shopping, and she brought in like loads of them. So like I'll go and sneak ones, you know what I mean? And, but like she's been counting, so she starts flipping it. But I went and got, <laughs> I went and got <laughs> the label. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, chains on them and everything now. <laughs> I, I I went and nicked the the Maltesers one, and I'm I'm all right with Maltesers. I don't mind them. Like they are nice. 
but the, you like you say the uh, the actual I don't know whether it's the texture, but I like I like mine. It sounds fucked up this, but I, I think this whole episode's been like this. I like to see I'm wearing like I'm, I'm wearing me uh, me hoodie now. I like to yeah. like rub it rub it against. <laughs> I like to make it. Where are we going, Dave? Come on. I try to make bungle stood in the corner. <laughs> Give me gabba pen. Um, I really no. want you to finish the sentence, Dave. What, what, what do you do with these? No, today, I like to make it warmer. I like to make it warmer. Oh. So not 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 to melt it because obviously it goes messy. I'm talking about the perfect moments where it's just soft. Yeah, just you soft. Just like you, you know, you open it, yeah. and you know, like sometimes people, it's like a bit of Teddy's chocolate orange type of thing. People are like. Oh, people are twatted against the wall, won't they? So like it breaks up and all that. I'm having none of that. I like to split mine in half, yeah, and then just so it's warm enough. So like you know, if you if you if you just push it, it bends a tiny little bit, and I'm like, that's it. That's when it needs to be. Yeah, I used to put I used to put Mars bars in the microwave. Oh for yeah, ten seconds just to melt them a little bit. If you so went too long, it go like rock. If you if you let it, oh let yeah, it does go to yeah. that, on it, yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, I'm full, yeah, fully on board with that. And I just realised as well, Nestle make Kit Kats, and there are a few finer things in life than getting a full Kit Kat finger that's all chocolate. Oh yeah, the surprise, the lot, it's amazing. Yeah, Kit Kat Kit- chunk. I like a good finger to that. That's that's lovely. <laughs> go on, Kit-, Kit Kats make the best straws as well. Bite, bite, bite. Opposite ends. Suck your teeth through through the, the oh, uh, I've never done that. that. That's yeah, that's yeah, wild, that. that is Works with penguins as well. Penguins as well, opposite corners. Like like penguins still going. Yeah. Yeah. So you, no, you bite out opposite corners and then suck the uh, suck the teeth through the, it. The elite for that as well was a spira. Mm. Drinking your teeth through a spira was unreal. Um right, move on. Quick bit of a quick fire round here. Dan, what? do you own a shoehorn? No. No. No, I don't. But what I have got is I found one of those little, uh, see those stupid shin pads? The, mm. um, the little tiny ones? The tiny ones that are meant to be legal. I Guys. found one Found one of them. And that, honestly, even smaller than I imagined, but works lovely as a shoe horn. Um, nice. Another one from Dan on shoes. Shoes two sizes too big or pants far too small. I'm going to say he means keks, not underpants for this. So... What? Really, really tight, small kecks or shoes, shoes too big. Pat's in the frame, lovely. Yes, yeah. I, I, yes, yes. I think, I think the pants thing you can probably. I mean, if you look at if you look at Cheltenham, Cheltenham races this week, <laughs> most most of the uh, like, most of the lads like there have got pants two sizes too small, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I look Do you like know what young fellas can't like get kecks to fit the these days. No, at all. What was that, Dave? Looks like I'm stroking the screen here. <laughs> I don't know. I put my head there like that. It, it, it is a cat for anyone who's uh, there. She is. There she is. Um, yeah. yeah. Just, just so you know, it's a cat and nothing else. Dave, what would you sooner have? Shoes two sizes too big or pants far too small? It's got to be pants for me. I couldn't imagine two fucking sizes round too big in either of those you're talking about. You've got to have one or the other. Kex or Bills. A Kex, Kex two sizes too small. Or Bills, whatever. I oh, know because you could cover up bills and just be a little bit uncomfortable. I reckon your kecks are too are like too small for you, or your shoes are. I, I wouldn't want to change my kecks. So I no, just just not kecks. You can't change. Like you need a perfect size kit size kecks. So whatever you are. Yeah, I'd, I'd take big shoes. They they're easy enough. I mean, I'm I'm a size eleven anyway. Um, so if you put them bigger, I can so that I can cope with that. You know, yeah. you, you just have to tie them really, really, really tight. You know what I mean? Look like proper pasties then. Yeah, yeah. Another one from Dan. Oh, like proper, proper, like crusty the clown feet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last one from Dan. Breath like the guff from a packet of ham, or constantly sweating Fanta. What? I think Dan. I think Dan's on the naproxen. He, he's on the Gabba Penton. He's on what, the. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the fancy drink. Ask that again. Ask it's that fanta, again. It's the fancy oh, drink. That's a good question. Ah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Because if you could milk the fanta and bottle it up, there's mm. potential there for like. There is. What? You know what there is. So, would you, would rather, you rather have, have bad breath, breath or, or sweat? Like, do, you know when you, do you open a packet of ham and it's gone bad? Oh, you mean sweat fanta? 
You sweat Fanta, right, or okay. your breath smells like like off ham. Well, you'd rather smell like yeah, oranges than off ham, wouldn't you? Yeah, but... Might you the, 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 your t-shirt to get them? There's got to be something yeah. changes between, like, sweat fancy. Is it is it hairy? Do you know what I mean? Or... Have you got a bottle of sweat it through a sieve? Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could do that, I suppose. On, on an off day as well, do you know what I mean? It's it's quite um, quite appropriate, actually. I'll go for that. Fanta. Fanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Fanta. Fanta. Yeah, fancy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wear yellow John, shirts. Got... What's that? Just wear yellow shirts, so it's all... <laughs> yeah, so, oh, it's... yeah. I'd want to sweat Fanta Lemon, if I'm honest. Ho- but... Holland's footy yeah. top, Holland footy top would do the trick, wouldn't it? Um, John, if you had to wear a kilt to the match, what pub would you go to pre-match? If That's I had to wear a kilt to the match? Wear a kilt? Yeah, I think it was aimed at Keith, but he's uh, he's still working. He's had, he's had two meetings on a Friday afternoon, back-to-back, like, up until half five. Well, he's actually. I told, I told him he's on a Friday time. night. That's that's outrageous. Yeah, I did. I did wear a. I did wear a kilt for a match last season. Last the last Everton women's game of the season, um, representing Lucy Hope. I was wearing wearing my family tartan kilt, so I have experienced that. that. That's commitment. Yeah, I don't Not know. Hope. I mean, like you see Please. them. You know, when people Sorry. people make the people make the odd joke about them, like oh, you don't want anyone to look up your kilt. But most that you ever see a proper like, you know, go down to your calf. Don't do like a like a the way the way to Jeff, the way to go to your knees. Yeah, Jeff. yeah, I'd, I'd go a little bit more risky, me. Yeah, I'd go a little bit more risky. Like a, like more of a mini kilt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm talking like you know knee high. Go with that. I'd go with that. Yeah. What was the question? Go, they go to the bottom of your thigh, so like just above yeah, your knee. Yeah, just above your knee, isn't it? And then your sock starts just below your knee. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the full. I've got the full thing. Yeah, when my brother got married, we both got our kilts done. Like went up, to, went, went up to the, the Royal Mile. Yeah, yeah, went what? up to the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, in Edinburgh and got got yeah. it all fitted out, three piece. You know, with the uh, you know the little yeah. spot on the ski dune and you all get that. The dagger as well. Yeah, yeah, ski dune. <laughs> yeah, got it. So he said, "I've got, I've got the full thing." Yeah, full, full, full kit. I'll, I'll wear it for you one day. You the... I'll bring me gift mask. I know what Dave's thinking there. <laughs> Jesus. Leather. A leather kilt, a leather kilt. <laughs> good, good dude. I hate the, the silence there. <laughs> what pub are we going to anyway? Denby, gotta be. Um, think about the game, what? It, it was, <laughs> you have definitely found a stash of that stuff, haven't you? Um, yeah. John, who would win in a fight, Gerard De La Fay or Wind? Oh, what wind? Very wind, wind. wind. Very, yeah, very the wind. wind. I think the wind was mate. He was there. You know, let, let's face it, he was a diving little shit as well, wasn't he? To be fair, like ha- happy days for us, but loved him though. Yeah, oh, if I he did, got the yeah. wind, be- if he got the wind behind him though, because he was that quick, he could was like it first... to his advantage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, his first spell or the second one that was better. Fair Sorry, one? not the second one, but fully, second. he was fully signed, wasn't he? He was on loan. Feels like he was better on loan. It, me, yeah, I think that's the standard as well, isn't it? Really, yeah. when you get a player, feels in. like it. Or was he that just was consistently all right it? across the whole time? I liked um, him. I liked him. I, I, I thought loved him, yeah, he was sound. No, I don't know. I think he He'd went a bit long to our side now. He'd he went a bit long to our side now. He'd walk into our side now. He'd walk into our side now. Imagine that as two of your front three. would walk into any of the sides that we've had since he's left. He would have easily been better than in every side that he's that we've had since he left. I'll put this to you now. De La Feu on the right. Strachelosi up front, McNeil on the left. You having that? We wouldn't even need Strachelosi up front. We just we just go without a forward. We got them two on the wings. <laughs> I'd have Harrison as a defensive midfielder, mate. If that's the case. <laughs> Stick him in goal, fuck it. Um, yeah. Maggie, what's the strangest animal that's ever tried to follow you home? Got loads of foxes by ours. Not really strange animal though. Oh my god, how noisy are they? Yeah, like three o'clock in the morning. Sounds like someone's getting murdered. <laughs> well, we've got like chill wall woods up the road, so it's like I remember I used to work in um, down in Gattaca, like a little pub in Gattaca, and every now and again I'd walk back because it was just a nice little nice walk to do. Do you know what I mean? But like, you know, sort of late night, you'd always see foxes. But I, I don't just mean one. Like on the walk back, it felt like you were getting stalked by them because they'd be mm. ahead of you, and then some would be behind you, and it was like the, like the raptors in Jurassic Park <laughs> just appearing from nowhere, and um. But yeah, you'd regularly see like 
at least three or four foxes every time you yeah. walk down the road. By the Abbey, you know where the Chill Abbey pub is? Yeah. Like that road, that road there, loads of foxes everywhere. Yeah. But I can't, yeah. I can't see anyone, any, any have ever really followed me on. Um, but it feels like it. When you it see one or two, like it, yeah. it's like, all right, yeah. And then like the third pops up, the fourth, you're like, hang on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start communicate with each other. Yeah. No. Oh, I, yeah. 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 I don't know what you mean. Dave, ever been followed by a strange animal? I've been approached by a peacock. <laughs> approached? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just saying it for a laugh. Did, 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 did this plumage open up and off? No, the, 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 drugs. <laughs> the thing, mate. It was like proper. I think it was trying to fly after me. It was trying to get away from it. But this is this is a true story. So um, you know what? You know I love me golf and all that. Well, there's one uh, sitting in St Helens, uh, not, not too far from where I live, and uh, the course itself, obviously, golf course is renowned for having animals, trees, and all that. And I was playing this par three, and um, I'm not sure. And I looked over on the right hand side there, and I was like, "Oh, you know, the, it's not a, it's not a farm or anything, but you know, you see like peacocks, like you see peacocks on their own, don't you? They don't like be, they're not breeds, are they? Do you know what I mean? Not like not like a cat or a dog, you know, a peacock hangs it out on its own. So I'm playing this oh, part. Yeah, don't knock about him in like gangs. <laughs> what would the gang of peacocks be called? Is is there a Oh, is there a clown? Let's have a look. Keep going, Dave. We'll find this now. Okay. So yeah. So like, and yeah, I'm I'm a decent golfer as well. This is a couple of years ago. This just pre-COVID, in fact, in the summer. And uh, I was playing with a couple of my mates there, and I, was, I mean, I'll never forget this. Did this seven iron into this par three there, and uh, I thinned it a little. I say a little bit, mate. I don't I don't thin the ball because I'm that good, but um, it just sort of went out right, uh, sliced it a little bit. And this this peacock, like you know, obviously when you see a peacock, you're like, why is why is the peacock in the golf course here? You know, it's obviously from a farm or something like it's escaped or something like that. I don't know, but this peacock, like, I was going over to take my shot in in the in the bunker there, and the peacock keeps you know when you see like something like an animal and you think, oh, you know, that's all right there. You know when you see like a cow, or something like when we take our dogs for a walk there in a um, crocky park. There's a little farm. And there's cows yeah. and all that. And the cows come over and they all come over and like the dog will bark there's and the little shit. There's Highland cows, aren't there? The what? The long haired like Highland cows there as well, aren't they? Yeah. The yeah, park. the cows are over there. Yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's like you know, why is there a peacock on the golf course? <laughs> so I went over to the bunker and like you, you know, when you look at them, you think that's not gonna come over to me. That that's that's like it's not gonna they're gonna be scared of human beings, these things. So I take my shot like that, and then and I turn round, and it's still like edging its way closer to me. And I'm thinking, no, it's going to stop that. You know, it got, I'm not joking, it got to the edge of the bunker, right? And I'm thinking, this thing's going to jump in the sand here. So I, I, I like started edging my way out. And, you know, obviously a bunker in golf, that like they're really deep, do you know what I mean? And, and like the, the top of it's like quite like head high. Yeah. So I'm not joking, mate. This peacock coming over to me, and I had to climb. I had to <laughs> climb out the bunker, like shifting myself up, like proper. You know, like the scrabbleator on gladiators. It it was like that trying to get out of this bunker, and the peacock is not is not stopping. Like you know what I mean? It's coming over, and they're like they're like they're like chickens. You know, they're like you know heads going up and down and all that. Like they they walk like that, and then yeah. and then the it's like a. a a Dilophosaurus on um uh, on Jurassic yeah. Park, you know when it comes up to you, it looks like nice and cute, and then it just goes like that and the thing goes out around its head. Yeah. It did that. It did oh, that. It's plumed. <laughs> yeah, you know the thing that like the, the flowers and all that. Yeah, but the, the feathers come out and all that, and it did that right by I mean, me. And I was thinking, I was, I was, I was thinking, you know, was, I don't need still know to this day. Is that a nice thing? Is it that means it fancies you. Mate, that's no, that's what they do when they when they want to mate with some with, yeah. with another peacock. That peacock wanted you. Oh, I'm not having. I'm not having that. You're that's lucky. That's what they do. That's what they do. It's, you know. It's, it's, I was it's thinking. Uh, I was thinking Check. it was like it was worried. But like, obviously, I was a lot more nope. worried than it was. But I was thinking when it does that, I'm thinking does something come out of it? Does it spit on you? Does it <laughs> shoot <does> things <laughs> at you? <laughs> yeah. Is it like does fire come out? I don't know. 
So I, I, <laughs> honestly, mate, I didn't even I didn't even finish the hole. I just grabbed my ball and started walking to the next one. <laughs> and they're like, obviously, they can't sprint, but they, they have this uh, the way they walk, like they, it's said, like next, like I know people are watching this, like they, they bop up and down, like that, don't they? You know, their heads popping yeah. up. And so he starts to walk over to me, and let's face it, like you look at me, I'm not a fast fella at all, but I felt like I had to, I had to walk at a brief pace, uh, sorry, a, 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 like a, um, a brisk pace to get myself to the next tee, and you can just see it, like you know, yeah. I what, were you, what were you wearing at the time, Dave? Because you're playing golf, but are you one of those like really loud golfers who wears like really flamboyant clothing? Or no, was it some... mate, just just like a navy shirt, just leather and kex. polo with, with my kex on, just like my school kex, actually. Yeah, but, you didn't yeah, have you, you didn't have like like a, a brightly coloured anything no, for it to. No, and perhaps no. it was offended by that. But do you know, do you know the the feathers at the back, the, the amazing looking things, aren't you? Because obviously it got close. I was looking at it, and they have, it looks like they have little eyes on them. Have you noticed yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. And like this one, maybe that's know. what it was. Then felt threatened. I don't know. Do you think... actually mean that? I'd love our list to say, does she in a peacock? If the fucking that comes out, they're just feathers, aren't they? Could if be. That yeah. comes make out... yourself look bigger. You're not going to believe. No, that, what a collect... You're not going to believe what a collective noun of peacocks is called. What? Well, a gabber penton of peacocks. No. A gabber penton. <laughs> Isn't that what they was taking? <laughs> <laughs> It's not that drunk no, that Dave was taking uh... when he was when he was pissing these papers. <laughs> yes. You've been on it for the last five years, by the sound of it. Um <laughs> it's it's either pride, a muster, or an ostentation. Ostentation sounds right. An ostentation. Ost- ost- ostentation yeah, seems ost- like they are very ost- ostentatious, yeah. aren't they? It feels like it's got the better of me, if that's what it's called, you know. And it yeah. did get the better of me. Um, well, have you found out about these feathers, yeah? Is it? Is it? I'll I'll have a look now. We'll go on to Maggie's next right, question. Right, right, on, uh, describe your perfect match day routine. Peter, go ahead. Yeah. I'm boring because I don't drink anymore, do I? So I just go to the house on Goodison Road and then go in the match. That sounds. And then come any, back any, out and go to the house again. Any chippies <clears throat> involved along the way? I don't really. No, we can not do, really. We can do like an hour, two hours either side of the game. Right, yeah. right. There's two, there's two places by Goodison. Obviously, you've got you, you've got your standard ones. But on County Road, there's a place called Gigabyte Pizza. I me and Sarah have a tradition that when we win, which we don't right often there. do, it's but you can get these massive pizzas and it's dead cheap. And the people yeah, in there are dead sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in there if you need if you need a horrible greasy post match grand. Go in yeah. there, but they do. okay. The other, the other good. Um, and then there's another one called Un- I think it's called Unani or Un- Umami or something like that. And it's um. It's a new place that does like um, like street food, and it's just a little bit fair. If you, it's a bit further up from um, like you go past the church, and then it's sort of like go. Oh, what's the name of the road? It's, just, it's not City Road. It's it's a road that's like parallel to where. So if you go on the Spello, like the other, like the okay, other yeah. side, yeah, that road going up there. I can't remember the name of it. And by by Crofts, you know Crofts yeah. Social Club. By there, there's a place, and I think it's called Unami or Un- Umami or something like that. It's a yeah. new one. And it's amazing. They do like these boxes of like street food with like loaded fries with macaroni yeah, and cheese yeah, and all yeah. that sort of thing. Like chicken burgers. Give yeah. it a go. Boss. Yeah. It's it, it's it's an absolute belter of a place. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my ideal day would would involve a gigabyte or one of them. Sound into that. I'll try that defo next time. Dave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, in, in, into my my bootle firm. Uh, so if you go to the top of Southport Road there. My my school that I went to is next to it, Hillside, um, and there's the Mons. They used to they changed it to a different name, but the Mons is there, yeah. right? And they do an um, unlimited breakfast start at like obviously eight in the morning or something like that. So if you've got an half twelve kick off, which I have that often, I can get in there for that time. Do you know what I mean? Then walk up the game. Where, where it is is um, you know Carisbrook Road. Mm. Do you know if you come off? Uh, you know where I'm on about, don't you? Go yeah, off country or walk down. It's like the diagonal that runs to Southport Road there. So it's a nice little walk up to up to the ground from it. But um, yeah, it's it's unlimited breakfast. We go in, it's like I don't know, twelve quid or whatever, and it's tea, coffee, whatever you want, you know, full English and everything like that. So the thing that I found like not difficult, but the thing that was like a little bit awkward was obviously you you go in there, but you wouldn't be still having a breakfast at like one o'clock or two o'clock. But obviously, that's when you start looking ahead heading towards Goodison. So it used to work out nicely that I'd get it stopped at 11, I think. So we get there for like 10 o'clock, have your breakfast, or whatever, fill yourself up and all that. And then it's like it almost just changed to a day of let's get 
like most, I'm, I don't drink much at all. I can't drink much at all or anything at all, really. Um, just go and have a drink afterwards. You know, you see, it gets more full all that. And then, like, you've got that nice little atmosphere in there, you know what I mean? But the good thing about it is where it is, it's probably too... It's one of those boozers that's not close enough to Goodison that it fills, mm. but not far enough away from it and, like, not have, a, you know, a nice little atmosphere in there and you can have a seat and all that. So it, that that's where I go there, the mons. Um, yeah, bit of everything in there. So that's, that's sort of my, my pre-match choice, ideally would be that but given like obviously I lived in Bootle but I lived on just off Southport Road there so walking up I'd walk all the way from home to the game with that perfectly in the middle of it Um, obviously where are now now you, you know I live now West Derby where like there's none of that sort of none of that sort of behaviour and down there although there is one opposite you know the um, Jolly Miller yeah there's a it's got it's um, what's it called Premier Inn and mm. next to Premier Inn is the pub and that does yeah. breakfast as well there but you're more that side of Anfield, so it's a little bit more awkward and you'd have to come over the um, Priory Road to get to Goodison. Do you know what I mean? So it's always chocker. People get into the uh, the car park that's on the other side, Liverpool side of the um, Stanley Park. So I know I'm going far too deep into this. <laughs> yeah, basically the Mons and then I go to the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I think mine is, so thingy, the, um, do you know the food court in... Oh, what's it called? Bloody hell. Where the every man pictures is. Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. Near the Philharmonic. No, no, the every man, not the every man theatre, the every man cinema. In... Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. Do you know, yeah. Oh my God, down the bottom of the town. Towards the lobster pot. What's it called? The Met Quarter. The food oh, quarter. I know, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, food yeah, yeah. Quarter, the, the food court. The Met Quarter that sounds like it's got an Armani shop and all that. Yeah, so the food court in there. Yeah, this Korean place that does this Holy quarter. Um, kick box of chicken, lovely. So that what's it called? What's it called? This Les? What? What do you say it's called? The Korean place. I can't remember what it's called, but it does this yeah. stuff called kick box of chicken, which is like <laughs> spicy Korean chicken. That and a pint of Blue Moon with me dad and the kids. Toffee's win, then be afterwards. Perfect. Now what dreams that? I know. Usual low is just get the train and go to Chongqing on County Road game. Nice, home. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everton like lose, go home. Game fume home. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I was going to say like we're we we we're, we're straight to the Denby after the game, but in regards to the the food situation, like when we finished there, like I, I don't stay too long, and obviously you don't yourself, Les, do you? you don't generally don't stay too long after we've done the post match. Obviously, stay yeah. for a couple of pints and then go. Um, like obviously because I can't drive. Keep saying that Haley picks me up straight after and like we end up having an argument over what you want to do for tea because you're in the middle of town and you're like well should we go home and in the chippy or should we take advantage of the fact that we're in the middle of town and they generally never stay in town to get food um so i wish i wish like i knew more like, like you just mentioned there i'll probably check that out what you just mentioned there Les. but food that's not like proper i'm not, I'm not going as far as a proper restaurant because it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right for me to go from the game to go from being in the boozer, then to going out to a restaurant, you know what I mean? It feels like I need some more sort of like pick up food that you can take home with you, or you know what I mean? You just stand yeah. there and eat it or whatever, rather than actually go. Like it just feels to me like you've changed your night massively. Whereas, like, you know, fair enough, if you went home and you've got a night out, or you've got, you know, a family occasion or something, and then you go home, get changed, go out. I think I need that difference between that than if someone actually said to me, right, Go go to game, Dave. Go to the den. We get the get the post match done by let's say half six, seven o'clock, and then meet us in whatever restaurant in town. That feel really weird to me. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, we've got ten minutes, so I'll rip through these. But first, <clears throat> why do peacocks open their feathers? Peacock that is spreading its feathers is trying to attract the mate. No, it's not. Swear down. First answer on it's Google. No. Um, there's a video underneath and the track the mate during mating season when a peacock vibrates and train, train to attack the peahen. Was it vibrating at you as well? Well with it shaking its feathers. It was just that the feathers open. Like, you were in. Was so, you were, you were you in. Were there. Were in you, know, well, you, broke poor, you broke that poor peacock's heart. Yeah. <laughs> 
it makes me think, you know, like last time we were talking about saying uh, rainbow. Let's let's not. Let's not no, no, with the, let's the not. peacock, it's the shape of it's like rainbow, isn't it? Oh, okay. God, that was that was way more innocent. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't saying say. it was called zim, zim, <laughs> Zippy. Um, right, quickly, last ten minutes. Uh, Maggie, which player, which Everton player, if they were a horse, would win at Cheltenham? Who would be sent to the glue factory? Pickford and Keane. No, nah, it's Bethel. Pickford, Pickford, <laughs> Bethel. Bethel. Yeah. Bethel would piss it. Bethel would win and go to the glue factory. Bethel on the steeple chase. Fucking hell. He's probably, he wouldn't even have to like get where he was going to, your horse was going to jump. He wouldn't need anyone on his back. He'd just, he'd just skip over it. So Bethel for both. Bethel for both. Peace. What was the other one? Bethel for the Cheltenham and what? Who'd win it and who'd be sent to the glue factory? Beto. Glue glue factory? Yes. Now that sounds really made Gabba better. <laughs> Pete, who do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just agree with Dave. <laughs> okay. It'd have to be right. it'd have to be a tall, tall player. Yeah, because Beto, well Beto's quick, isn't he though? He's very he's he's quick over. Yeah. He's Once quick, he he's going. tall, he can he can leap. Yeah, and he's got yeah. power he's got, as well. He's, let's face it, he's going to fall over the first fence. That, I mean, that's, that's like, that could happen as well, to be yeah. fair. Like, yeah. 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 Um, probably Keen, if you throw Keane in, steady Eddie, he'd probably finish the course. Yeah, Keane had, Keane had finished. Tarkovsky had finished, wouldn't he? You'd, he'd yeah, be yeah. like a, he'd be a sure bet for like finishing Bro, the race. Branthwaite, absolute stallion. Branthwaite would win it, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he's quick, he can, he can leap, he, yeah. He's got the, the physical attributes. He'd be, a, he'd, be, he'd be a stud when he'd finished as well. <laughs> right, we'll move <laughs> on to the next one. Uh, which member of the Blue Room gang would be sent to the Finders Farm if they were a Cheltenham horse? I think Maggie's insinuating something about horse meat lasagna there, but I don't know. Um, what's that, the Finders Farm? Is that like horse meat? The, yeah, yeah the, remember the uh, Finders lasagnas? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, I don't yeah, want to think about... Uh, there's been a lot of... Th- been a lot of animals in this one, hasn't there? This week, who'd, who'd lose the who'd lose the steeplechase then? I mean, I'm going to put my name forward there because it'd be too high for me to jump over. Well, out of yeah. the wall, yeah. I'm too small to make those jumps, so I've I'm, never I'm been a, good at long distance. I'm, I'm, a, I've never, I'm, a, no. sprint, I'm a sprinter, I'm a sprinter, not a long distance runner. Same, so I'd, uh, yeah. I'd, I'd probably jump over the fence and just sit on it. Um. I don't know, you've got you've got someone like Mosey would skip over it, wouldn't he? Yeah, but down. this is this is like who's gonna who's gonna lose, basically. Who's gonna lose? We're looking for the worst. So we'd all we'd all get to the first the first fence and be like, nah, I can't be asked. Yeah. No, well, you, you two are tiny, aren't you still? So Pete's bigger than me, he's not Pete's not tiny. Yeah, Everyone's but I'm tiny talking, to yeah, you. He's bigger than six foot two or whatever. Well, exactly. I have to <laughs> climb over it like I did to get in that fucking bunker. <laughs> But, yeah. I'm, but just, I'm told just stick a peacock I in the trap with you and then jump on Dave's back. I yeah, jump on Dave's it. back and climb. No, they are like genuinely. I remember, um, you know, when you go to Ainsley every every year and like lucky enough to get like an, an executive box one time that's right next to the first fence, and you you don't fully realise basically how big horses are, but also how big those fences are. I mean, my dad told me back in the day, like it was a really day. Obviously, it's getting better now, but you know, it's still tragic for a lot of horses when they still go. But he said, you know, I'm, I'm not joking. He used to be brick. It used to be brick high, and they just put a few things, but there were bricks that they made of. Jesus, what? I know, I know. But obviously, they covered it in heath and all that stuff. But I remember going up to it, and it, first of all, it's spiky as anything. Like it's proper, like mm-hmm. you know, it's really spiky. Those things that they put on it. And then it, it, I'm not joking. Like I'm, I'm, I'm six foot three, and it was at least, at maybe even get to ten feet above my head there. Do you know what I mean? And you think like the the power of those animals is unbelievable. I don't know why I'm just telling people about horses that they don't know about, but um, I I think I'd be best equipped to get to a certain place. The certain place would be lying down before I got to the first fence. <laughs> um, so I might well throw myself in for last, but you two won't make it over the first fence either. No, so no, I just run into it. Yeah. Who else we got? So I mean, the, you whippers won't, won't, won't you whippers won't do anything. No. Mm-hmm. So you jump over then. Just chuck us all. Uh, in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. Right, don't last... they have? 
you have the water thing under the under the bottom, don't you? Know what's what is it called? Don't know. Don't look at me blank. You, you know when you come up, you brook, know when you come up to the brook, fence. You call it a brook. No, it's or like that, you know, the canal turn and all that. It has the um, the big load of fucking pond underneath. Just be <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Wait, we got we're gonna go on to the last question. Go on. Because you've got three minutes. Um Laura and Stuart, your service station and lawn sausage questions will wait until Keith's on. Um Laura, ever be back onto animals. How weird. Uh, Laura, ever been chased by random animals on holiday? Again, this was for Keith. Because uh, he, yeah, got chased. Um, I have had run-ins with geese and a raccoon and also an elephant on separate occasions. And a dad had a run-in with a bear once in the mountains. I feel like and I feel like Laura needs to come on here and explain how she got chased yeah, by an elephant. Yeah, she can't just drop that. And... No, like, you can't, you, can't, you can't drop that and then expect us to answer with anything more interesting than what you've just said there. So, yeah. well, I'm... This is my ancestor, Laura. You need to get on the next week's mailbag and explain to us how you got chased by an elephant and how your dad ended up getting chased by a bear. I need yeah. to hear this. You're right, so like, I'm Laura. Just, you're on next week. I'm just thinking, would you see a peacock on a beach? <laughs> that was it. Pe- but what? If, the, if there was a peacock on a beach, it's going to be like horny. Because there's like, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, if it went, I don't know, Tenerife or whatever, and you know, everyone's out there and yeah, you know, half and half and getting the suntan and all that. Yeah. Yeah. If, fair you put point. A, if, you, if you pick a peacock up, yeah. Or like put it in a van or whatever <laughs> and put it out on the beach, that, that, that peacock's going round with the rainbow yeah. feathers out all the way. Yeah. Are peacocks like penguins where they only have one mate for life. So, like, is that poor well, peacock who fell in love with Dave still knocking around oh somewhere? My God, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, he's been knocking around, hasn't he? Been sending letters to people and everything. While, I, while I find that out, I got chased by a barracuda when I was snorkeling once. What? A what? A barracuda? Yeah. yeah. So, I didn't realize. So, we were snorkeling off this boat. And oh, yeah. Dad, like, I'd like a barbecue. I'm sure I've told this before, but anyway. Are they like eels, barracudas? Are they like big eels? No, they're like the big fish with the massive teeth. And all the teeth, yeah, 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 yeah. So over one side of the boat, they were throwing out all like the leftover barbecue stuff. We were all snorkeling the other side, and I just started, I just started swimming back to the boat because I'd had enough. And as I'm sort of swimming, I look up, and everyone's looking. And I think nothing of it. Just put my head down, starting to get a little bit panicky, thinking, "All right, what's going on?" So got to the boat, and then when I got back up on it, everyone was like, "There was a massive barracuda swimming around." Go, that's just followed you back about that far away from your feet. <sighs> so bit, I'm so glad I didn't see it because I would have been like Scooby Doo out the water and just legging it. But what are the ones that eat people? It, would, it looked massive. I mean, it, yeah, it was a good really? few feet long. Can barracudas like probably do some damage to a human then? Yeah, they've got massive teeth. Yeah. Oh. Why Why are your bikes called them then? Because they don't sound like they're related to each other, do they? Wait, what? A bike? You never heard of a barracuda bike, yeah. have you? Yeah. Is that, is that oh, because I don't know? Is that because them fish are fat like a bike? I don't know. But speaking of riding, right? Peacocks, yeah. Polygamous by nature, often having several partners during the season after courtship and mating. Oh, Dave, you were sl- you were sloppy seconds, mate. Some slag was after me there on the course, really. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. There better been anyway. all over the dial. Better been all over the dial off a sword of that with the all over it. Would have been. And yeah. b- before you go any further, Dave, we'll uh, we'll call time on that week's ma- this week's mailbag. <laughs> um, so, animal, animal farm. There, there we go. He's he got, he still managed to get something in. Uh, thanks to Pete. Thanks to Dave. Thanks to everyone who sent questions in and listened and watched. Uh, we'll catch you next time on mailbag.